Hi, St. Lukers and friends of St. Luke. I'm Lindsay, Otto and Nori's mom, and I'm going to read Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel worked for the king of Babylon. The king liked Daniel very much and said, no one is working as hard and as well as Daniel. I want him to have the best job in my kingdom. This made the king's other servants very angry and jealous. So they decided to set a trap for Daniel. Daniel loved God very much, so he prayed to God three times a day. Then the evil and jealous servants had an idea. They went to the king and said, We think there should be a new law. No one can pray to anyone other than the king. The king liked the plan and made that the new law. But Daniel kept on praying to God. Daniel knew the men were watching him. But he was not afraid and knew it was more important to pray to God than to follow the new law the king had made. Daniel kept kneeling and praying to God every day. The servants knew their plan had worked. The evil men went to the king and said, Oh, great king, it seems that Daniel is praying to his God, not to you. Now the king was very sad because he liked Daniel, but he also knew he had to obey the law. So the king sent his soldiers to arrest Daniel. Soldiers took Daniel, and as punishment, they threw him into a lion's den. Roar! The lions roared. During the night, the king did not, could not sleep. He tossed and turned and did not drink or eat anything as he thought about the lions and poor Daniel. Roar! Early in the morning, the king rushed to the lion's den and called, Daniel, are you there? Yes, Daniel said. God sent an angel, and the lions did not harm me. The king was very happy and ordered Daniel to be pulled from the lion's den. Then he sent out a message to the whole kingdom of Babylon. It said, Daniel's God is the best and the true God in the world. Pray to God instead, not to me. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.